Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas uh, now. What did you make of Schumer's comments just now? It wasn't an apology, but he did say he used the wrong words he didn't mean to. Well, I don't know about his intentions here, but what did you make of his explanation? Well, it's good to hear Chuck acknowledge that he made a mistake yesterday and that he misspoke. Uh, if Democrats go forward with nominating Joe Biden, I got to say they're going to have a lot more times in which their leaders are going to have to apologize for misspeaking and meandering. But let's get to the root of the issue here. Chuck Schumer said he was speaking about abortion. Let's look what just happened last week on the Senate floor. Chuck Schumer and the Democrats filibustered legislation that would prevent infanticide of a young baby that survives an abortion will prevent late-term abortion of infants that can feel pain in their, mother's, in their mother's womb. These are depraved practices that no civilized society should permit, yet the Democrats are so radical on abortion that they filibuster those bills in lockstep. That's the real issue at stake here. Yeah, and in fact, Chuck Schumer said that this was about the right to choose. He, he, was, he was blunt about that, you're right. He was admitting that. He was also saying he did not mean this as a threat to the Supreme Court justices, but walked it back. Interesting, because his own spokesman last night seemed to be kind of trying to change what Chuck Schumer said. Mm -hmm. At least he, he seemed this morning to be owning it. Uh, but let's get to the root of it. One of your colleagues, Senator Hawley of Missouri, now says he has a plan to censure the Democratic leader. Uh, he says in part in a tweet, I would call on Schumer to apologize, but we all know he has no shame. I will introduce a motion to censure Schumer for his pathetic attempt at intimidation of the Supreme Court. Senator, do you think a censure is in order or has Chuck Schumer cleaned this up? Well, again, I'm glad to see that Chuck Schumer expressed regret for his words yesterday and said that he misspoke. He should go forward and apologize fully for them. It's one thing to criticize the Supreme Court for their decisions. The president does that. I've done that as well. But to make the kind of naked, you know, threats towards a Supreme Court justice by name without any doubt at all about what he meant is a step too far. Again, it's good to see him uh, take the words back, say he shouldn't have said them. It'd be better if he would just flatly apologize and we can move on with serious business, like perhaps yeah. trying to protect the lives of unborn children and protect women from very dangerous medical circumstances. Senator, uh, in the limited time we have just over a minute, I wanted to get your thoughts on the coronavirus, where we are in all of this. Also, uh, we saw obviously over $8 billion moving through the House of Representatives yesterday. Uh, they've now approved that. It's moving over to where you are in the Senate. What do you expect in terms of funding, number one? Uh, and number two, do you feel like the, you're confident that the Trump administration is, is grappling with this effectively? So first, the Senate will pass that legislation today. It'll go on to the president for a signature. It includes a lot of needed funding for not just the federal government, but our states and local governments for testing in particular to develop therapeutic drugs, and we hope ultimately a vaccine. But I, I want to commend the president and his coronavirus virus task force uh, for their decisive action, especially what the president did in late January in shutting down air travel from China against the recommendations of a lot of people and in the face of criticism from people like Joe Biden, who claimed it was xenophobic. If we hadn't shut down air travel from China in late January, we would be facing a much wider outbreak than we already have with almost no hopes of containing it. We're still struggling to contain it, but right now we at least have a chance to do so. This legislation will help. Senator Tom Cotton, we appreciate you rolling with the breaking news this morning. Republican of Arkansas, thanks for coming in, sir. Senator, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all.